Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Kite562 with another review of Beastars Volume 2, and this is a review of Volume 2 of the manga by Paru Tagaki and published by Viz Media. Now, as the story continues from Volume 1, Lagoshi feels ashamed about what he almost did to Haru, which he almost ate her within Volume 1. And, you know, he tries to go about his day, and so fate would have it, he has to get some flowers for a Adler performance for the drama club. And lo and behold, Haru is a part of the drama club. Now, with this review, it's going to revolve around a little bit of Haru, Lagoshi, Bill, and Louie. And I'll try to mention each and every one of them within this review, so anyway, let's get on with it. For the first point of this review, again, Lagoshi felt ashamed for what he almost did to Haru, and so he doesn't feel right about being in the same place as her. So, as luck would have it, he, he and an anteater named Kibi go to the gardening club, and Haru and Lagoshi interact again, or cross paths, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, it's just... It's just really awkward for the Lagoshi mostly, so he tries to make up excuses. Lo and behold, Kibi intercepts with the same excuped excuse. Uh, cannot talk today. With the same excuse of needing to go to the bathroom, so yeah, right now it's just Haru and Lagoshi up on the roof of the gardening club, and things couldn't be more awkward for the poor wolf boy. <laughs> anyway. As the two interact, Haru asks Lagoshi to help her lift some pots around the gardening club, and then after everything's said and done, let's just say things get a little spicy within the gardening club shed. If you've read the manga, you know what scenes I'm referring to, but I'm not really going to mention those parts. They're better experienced within the manga themselves. Again, in my opinion, this manga series 17 plus to 18 plus. That's just my opinion, so yeah. Anywho, after that scene happens, we find out that Lagoshi wants to do more research about small herbivore greetings. So he goes to Zuzel and just types in whatever he needs to, which means something around the line of do small herbivores undress as a proper greeting former greeting and no results come up and then lo and behold it just spirals out from there as Lagoshi's doing his research within the library a staff member says it's time for the moon bathing and all in all it's just it's really interesting what unfolds out within these pages of the manga see with each and every student at Cherryton Academy they have to experience a biology hour, meaning spend an hour a day, according to a Lagoshi, a carnivore or a herbivore has to spend an hour a day in a replication of their natural environment. For example, polar bears for an hour a day have to spend time within a cold, icy environment like Alaska, Antarctica. So yeah. <laughs> Anywho, the next point I want to get along is that the rumors about Haru sleeping around with other male students. Now, I won't go into detail about this, but yeah, rumors start spreading about Haru that she does sleep around and it turns out she does, but again... I'm not going to go into detail about this in this review because I just feel like that would spoil it for new readers. That's just my opinion, so there's that. Anywho, the next point I want to make is that Lagoshi, after that traumatizing one-on-one -on -one experience with Haru, he wants to see her again, so he ends up just standing back, relaxing at the window, just really contemplating of wanting to see her again and he doesn't know if it's just actual love or just his instincts telling him hey it's okay to eat this small herbivore go on it's your nature what's the harm in that <laughs> anywho so anyway as this volume continues Lagoshi tells Kai the 
little mongoose, that how the drama club members are selected is through their traumatic backgrounds. For example, Kai was abandoned at birth and raised by a pack of hyenas. So, again, that's according to the manga. Anyway, as it goes on, we don't know what Lagoshi's purpose in the drama club is or how he was selected. So, and Kai is surprised that Lagoshi doesn't want a chance in the spotlight. And so, Lagoshi just really doesn't want the attention, doesn't want the presence, so... So, Cherry Tin's acting pool is selected by people who have traumatic past. Interesting, if I say so myself. Anyway... Lagoshi goes to check in on Louie to see how he wants the light fixed on him during the performance of the Adler play at Cherryton. Now, as this interaction between Louie and Lagoshi plays out, Lug Louis seems to just slowly and methodically examine Lagoshi up and down, and he's just wondering why doesn't he give in to his strength? Why doesn't he just use it? So Louis ends up grabbing him by the tail saying, Where do you think you're going? So yeah, Louis ends up pinning poor Lagoshi up against the wall, and it just skyrockets from there. So Louis just slowly, ever so slowly, puts his hand in Lagoshi's mouth, and he demands him to bite him. Lagoshi ever so slightly does so, but reluctantly pushes himself away and breaks free of Louis's grip. And Lagoshi feels like there should be strong people like Louis to lead an example for the world. I don't remember the exact quote, but it's something around those lines. And I just thought this scene was very powerful and very wonderful. And in my opinion, this was just the starting point of Louis and Lagoshi's, I don't know what you could call it, rivalry, friendship brotherly friendship whatever <laughs> anyway it's still an interesting volume as the day goes on the first performance of the adler play happens with louis as the adler of course and then after that performance is done it was the first welcoming performance for the new Cherryton students entering everything all the the journalism club was getting ready for louis big performance but ever since that first play of the Adler, Louis's injured leg finally gets the best of him, so he ends up giving the mantle to Bill. Now this is where volume two of Beastars just really spikes up and really gets me excited. So Lagoshi is forced to play in the Adler performance, but Bill is the starring role of the Adler in place of Louis. So man, this is like one of my many favorite panels from this volume and oh the moments before the play actually goes on Lagoshi discovers that Bill is blood doping with rabbit's blood now Bill states to Lagoshi as he's being violently pinned to the wall that it's not from a student's blood or anything just something he got from some punk or whatever but yeah, it was just a really powerful scene, and I guess you could say that blood doping is close to, like, using a steroid or something in the Beastars universe. It's just really quite interesting how this manga makes you think about societal norms and everything, and what does it mean to be a proper person within the Beastars universe. Anyway, when that interaction happens between Bill and Legoshi, it's just, it just goes from zero to sixty, like... Boom! And oh man, the way that Lagoshi looks as a bandit within the stage performance, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So when it's Lagoshi's time to get on stage, before that he says to Bill, I will not forgive you. So, and he ultimately ends up throwing hands, literally just punches Bill halfway across the stage and just ends up gripping himself on top of Bill and just starts punching him again and again and again and again and until the vial of rabbit's blood hits the feet of none other than Louis. So then Louis during this play while all the other herbivores and carnivores look helplessly as Bill is ferociously and 
I don't want to say rightfully beaten because he just ends up. I end up feeling bad for the guy. I honestly do. It's just, it's really hard how this volume goes from zero to 60, but I have nothing but praise for it. Nothing but praise. And it's just really wonderful how this scene plays out and then near the end, like during the whole fight, Bill grabs in Lagoshi close and then you see this massive panel of Bill slowly clawing into Lagoshi's back and you just see the little drips of blood just drip onto the stage. And then of course, Louie pops in to save the day as the Adler since he was the one who picked up the vial of rabbit's blood. So spoiler alert. Anyway, it's just all in all, this volume is just, it's great. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And my overall thoughts of this volume is just on a scale of 1 to 10, I have to say I give it a 7.5, a 7.7 out of 10 between there. It's still an interesting chapter, but it could still really use some work here and there. This is just my opinion. Other than that, it's still a great series. So this is Kite562 signing out. And I hope you enjoyed this little review. And I'll be sure to do Volume 3 down the road when I can. I'm just going to try to upload whenever I can, but I will try to remain a quality uploader to this channel. So yeah, like the video, comment, and what do you like about Volume 2 if you've read Beastars? I'd like to just start a discussion down below in the comments. I love interacting with people. Alright, this is Kite562, and I have... I, not, oh, I cannot talk today, and I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.